All right, so here is that original 1996 CR250. I'm just getting ready to set up and have this thing stripped down. We're gonna take some parts off here, vapor blast them, put this thing back together, clean it up as best we can while keeping some of the original integrity still there. It still have these original plastics and graphics. Um, swing arm is in a little rough shape. We got some, uh, the anodized on there is kind of, you know, faded or whatever. It's looking a little rough. So we're gonna just strip it apart. And from there, we'll see what's worth uh, blasting, making this thing look like it's new again. Obviously you can't hide its age here, uh, but very, very low hours of use. So, all right, we'll get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is drain the coolant. It's this uh, bolt right here, the rusted one that has a copper washer. So I'm gonna drain the coolant, pop the cap off the top and it comes out a lot faster. Next, I'll just drain the uh, transmission fluid. And when I cracked it loose here, it was actually pretty dirty. It's uh, you know very, very dark, kind of gray too. So got that drained. Now I'm gonna just pull the gas line off real quick and get ready to pull the gas tank off. I guess seat, gas tank, uh, plastic, stuff like that. All right, so seat comes off to 12 millimeter bolts, then the eight millimeters on the side plastics. I'm um, just gonna leave the shrouds on the tank here and just pull it off in one piece. So I'm gonna try to pretty much take this thing apart and leave it uh, semi-assembled, you know, like gas tank with the shrouds on, um, you know, things like I'll, I'll put nuts and bolts back in where they go, like in the subframe and stuff. I pretty much try to keep all the bolts and pieces together. I'll pull the whole subframe off the rear and leave that assembled with the air box and stuff like that. All right, so I just pulled the silencer off. Now I'm gonna crack these bolts loose here, the lower subframe Allens, and there's a 12 millimeter bolt on the top. This actually had some white paint right over the bolt so this will have to be uh redone i'll just take note of that loosen up the clamp on the carburetor and this should just pull right off so that'll have to get cleaned up too a little bit dirty on the inside but pretty normal so now i'm just gonna pull the uh fatty pipe off just two eight millimeter bolts here and i'm gonna leave this rear bracket mounted with it all right, next, radiator hoses and radiators are coming off. These could get pretty stuck, so I did soak these in some WD-40. I cracked all the uh, the uh, clamps loose and then sprayed some WD in there so it soaks in just to make them get off a little bit easier. I don't really like prying on them or anything, so I kind of, once I get one loose, I try to twist it and pull them off that way. And they came off, you know, not too bad. Right now I just pulled the carburetor off and I'm leaving the throttle tube kind of hanging there. I'm gonna get that off in a second and just pull that out of the way so it's not hanging. All right, now I'm just gonna pull the clutch cable out. So I I put the slack in the, the lever off top and then I'm pulling this cable out completely so it's disconnected from the motor. And then I'll just pull this clutch lever out of the way later. Put the cover back on. And now pulling the electronics off. So I got the coil here. Uh, CDI box. I'll disconnect the stator and all the electronics are off in one piece. I'm going to pull the chain off just by pulling the master link off and that's it. Uh, motor mounts. Motor mounts are next. I'll keep those semi-assembled. And now the lower motor mounts. These are pretty tight. Kind of stuck on there, but I uh, got them cracked loose finally. And then the swing arm bolt. Once that comes out, this motor is pretty much loose. And then next, I'll just, uh, once I get these motor mounts fully out, remove this upper shock mount give it a little more room to get that motor out and I'll put that to the side. Next, I'm going to remove this rear wheel and uh, pretty much just take this shock off. The linkage is still connected. That was like a 19 millimeter, pretty, pretty tight fit over here. Trying to get your sockets in there. You have to use an extension. Um, but yeah, I've done this plenty of times before with, uh, with the other CR250 I had. So uh, pretty much remember all the size bolts and everything for these. Rear brake is going to come off. The rear brake master is still connected to the frame. So that would uh, leave the swing arm connected. Now it's pretty much just the frame and the front end. So I'm going to pull the handlebars off. Um, forks, the front wheel, front fender, stuff like that. All pretty easy. 
I'll keep this as an assembly. I'll take the, the, the master and caliper, leave that together. Those will get blasted as one piece. Uh, brakes work really good, so no reason to uh, take that apart. So I'm going to pull the bars off. They're bent, so i got to take a note to replace those. So I'm going to pull this discard off, crack this, uh, crack this loose, hold it with your chin on the front fender. <laughs> um, this thing's actually pretty wobbly, just the front forks and the frame like this. There's no weight to it. Uh, one of these washers was bent, so I'm just taking a note of that as well. I'll put these screws back in and then uh, pull the wheel off and then take these front fork guards off. And that's pretty much it. I'll take this down and lay this on the side. It's This front axle is going to get re-zinc plated. I saw that it was pretty rough. But uh, yeah, so removing these lower fork guards. Then the next step, I'm going to lay it on its side because this was actually pretty stuck. I don't think that these forks were ever removed. They were really, really stuck on there. I had to twist it pretty hard to get them cracked loose. And I didn't want to pry. Like some people like to pry in the triple clamps. I don't like doing that. I just kept working it and uh, got these things cracked loose. So that's pretty much it. The whole thing is taken apart. I don't have the, the right size socket for the upper triple clamp. So I'll get to these later. All right. So these are basically all the parts that are going to get vapor blasted here. Pretty much everything that is aluminum. Uh, so we have the swing arm and the silencer. I'll probably tape off where the black paint is. The carburetor, I'll take it apart. It's clean on the inside. I can tell because it runs good. But we'll get the outside, maybe replace these hoses with some new hoses. I'll vapor blast the rubber as well. This stuff all comes out really good. These are in good shape. We'll do the calipers, uh, the master cylinders, radiators. The rear shock, I might just throw in the... This is anodized, so this might just go in the parts wash tank and then vapor blast this bottom aluminum piece, or we'll get it rebuilt. Uh, we got the linkage, motor mounts, um, front brake master. We'll vapor blast the lug. I'll tape this off here and vapor blast the bottom and then just hand, hand clean this. This is hard anodized, so we'll hand clean that. The whole motor will get vapor blasted, probably pull, you know, protect whatever we can. I've done a bunch of these assembled. So what I'll do is I'll put my test pieces in uh, where you can hook this up and put 5 PSI of pressure in the bottom end so we make sure that there are no leaks. So I'll hook it up with the pressure tester before it goes in the vapor blast cabinet, hot glue all of the seals, clean it up as best we can. Uh, again, getting all the rubber pieces. We've got the kick start, the shifter. I'll pull that off. Uh, and then we have the wheels here. I'll do the hubs. I think I'll leave the, hub, the wheels assembled. Just lightly blast the hubs to clean them up front and rear the rims are anodized so i'm not going to touch the rims and then we got the triple clamps upper and lower that'll get those off in a little bit and then for zinc plating i'd say some things that will definitely zinc plate is uh black zinc on the foot pegs you know the hardware here because this is something you see right away a couple of these nuts and bolts we'll do we'll do some zinc plating on those everything that you see here these look like they're in really good shape but you know the stuff that's right up in your face you'll want to probably have look nice so Probably zinc plate some of the hardware that you see right away. Uh, we'll see. We'll go piece by piece and see what we're going to do there. Uh, definitely probably going to, you know, we'll vapor blast these aluminum uh, axle blocks. And these main pieces of hardware that you definitely don't want to buy new are worth replating. You know, the front axle where it sticks out, you see that. The rear. And then this is the swing arm. It's got some paint on it. I mean, they look good, but there's still, you know, plenty of room for improvement on this stuff. So... This will be it for this video. I'll uh, I'll film another video once we get started with the vapor blasting and all this stuff. We'll do piece by piece. I'll pull the stickers off the swing arm. We'll do that. The motor would be fu uh, a fun one to see. Um, the wheels. And then we're going to decide what's going on with this frame. We'll see if it's going to get powder coated. If so, you know, got to replace stuff like this sticker here. Um, so then I'll, I'll, if this is going for powder coat, I'll pull all this stuff off. You know, might just hand wash it for now. Stuff like this will come off because the paint is still in really good shape here. Um, it's got some rust in the corners or whatever, but it could be cleaned up possibly and then touched up just here where the paint is rubbed off. I don't know, but, uh, you know, it would be nice to just maybe repowder coat the whole thing. Or I don't think they're powder coated from the factory, but it would be nice to powder coat it if you're going to go ahead and do everything and everything else is going to look brand new, you know, might be worth doing. So, all right, next video, we'll be cleaning the stuff. Thanks for watching up till the end. And if you like this stuff and you want to see this put back together, like, subscribe, like this video. It really helps out. And uh, 
subscribe and I'll be posting probably the next couple weeks some progress on this. All right, thanks.